Hey, Scott here from RV Travelling Husbands. Easter was a bit wet and we couldn't take Harvey away, so join me while I take you through the current range of Windsor Motorhomes. Now, Easter's just gone. We were taking Harvey away. We'd planned on going to our favorite regional destinations. We started to give him a spring clean, but the weather wasn't looking great. And so we were edging our bets. And at the end of the day, we waited until the Wednesday, uh, but they were predicting doom and gloom with 100 to 120 mils of rain and some of the coldest days in 50 odd years. So we decided it was best just to join the family and do some family based uh, activities for Easter and we didn't take Harvey away. Now then, this week just gone, the Sydney Super uh, Caravan and Camping Super Show was on and Windsor released a brand new camper van. So I thought it would be perfect timing as we'd had a few people ask us about it and we sort of knew nothing, that we would actually delve in to the Windsor range and what it is now and I'll give you a brief rundown. Now, if you follow us on our channel or you are subscribed to our channel, you would have seen a few of our videos and you would remember that we bought our Daintree in January of 2021. We bought it for all the reasons that we've outlined in previous vlogs like packaging, size and value. And then we started this channel. We also started the owners groups on Facebook. We first started with the the WMO or the Windsor Motorhome Owners Group, and then we diverged into the WDO, the Windsor Daintree Owners Group. Since then, there's been many factors including component, stock and chassis shortages, as well as component price increases and lengthy waiting times. So the RV landscape has changed dramatically. The most visual change being that the man what the manufacturers will charge and what consumers agree to pay. Due to the recommended retail price constantly changing, I don't want to spend too much time on that. So at the end of the day, value is in the eye of the beholder. So starting back in 2020, back in March, the Daintree was announced or released at a great price of 108,990. Initial examples were based on the pre-facelift X62 Renault Master or Series 3. But being as that model had already received a restyled bonnet, headlight, windscreens, dashboard and a touchscreen infotainment system in December of 2019, the model didn't really start to be built or arrive in numbers to customers' hands until this Phase 2 model became available. Next up was the announcement or the release of the trio of motorhomes all based on the Fiat Ducato chassis in May of 2020. That started with the Flinders at 136,990 and the 149,990 Simpson. They also made the initial announcement of the Otway, but there were no specs, only the intended price of 105,990. The Flinders and Simpson duo went on to success, but the Otway disappeared at this time and did not make regular production. Then in June 2020 came the announcement of the pinnacle of the range and they christened that the Platinum Series. With articles boasting it had upscale features and a ceiling shattering price of a recommended retail of $390,000. The Platinum Series had three electric slide outs. It had high end fittings like Corian bench tops, Hermes wallpaper, Posture Perfect high top mattresses, Roger Seller bathroom accessories, Miele appliances, including a dishwasher. But the star was the Oz X Corp lithium battery system. Now I found some reference articles and they quoted that two were initially built. One was on display as brand new and one was allegedly built for the CEO and it had 1500 demo kilometers on it. And it was then listed for 309,990. It was further reduced to 299,990 and then allegedly reduced to 249,990 before being sold. But we'll never know. It was a massive six months in 2020 for the reborn Windsor with its new motorhomes. And then a mysterious coming soon picture was teased on their page of a Fleetwood XL in August of 2020. It showed a long wheelbase camper van, but nothing actually appeared. 
So then in June 2021 came the announcement of the Mercedes Sprinter based camper van called the Brighton. Going to the other end of the spectrum with a recommended retail price of $79,990, the Brighton was Mercedes-Benz Sprinter based. It was the rear wheel drive 314 model in medium wheelbase. It was 5.93 meters long, 2.8 meters high. It slept and carried two. It was a bare bones model missing luxuries such as air conditioning and an ensuite. It did have a two burner cooker, a, one, a four and a half kilo LPG tank and 55 liter gray and freshwater tanks as well as a 100 liter fridge and a microwave for 79,990. It seemed to not hit the mark as it was discontinued by August 2022 and was abruptly replaced by the newly relaunched Otway at a new dearer price of 137,990 based on the now, now new Series 8 Fiat Ducato. Was 5.98 meters long, 2.8 meters high. It slept two, but carried four. And it introduced the one piece fiberglass wet room. So your combo toilet shower with a 100 liter fridge with air conditioning and a nine kilo LPG tank. It was reintroduced at 137,990, but it currently has a recommended retail selling price of $148,690. And then now comes the LDV based Deliver 9, the camper van Waveline. It's been introduced at 119,990. Now it is an LDV Deliver 9 based camper van. It's 5.94 meters long, three meters high, it sleeps and carries two with an 80 litre fridge and a one piece wet room, all for 119990 With the release of that new wave line, that brings the current model range to five. So two camper vans and three motor homes. And that's where we're at currently with the Windsor range. Thanks for watching and make sure you click like and subscribe for more content similar to this and we'll see you out on the road.